Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, or good night, whenever you're watching this. <laughs> okay, so today is my day off, <laughs> and uh, I just made myself some rice. Excuse the little mess I have going on right, right here. I just, uh, just cut. So, <laughs> well, Jamani uh, already left off to work. He just left not that long ago, so I made me some rice and chicken so we actually got like this rice maker back in the fall i think we got it for christmas or something i don't remember or no no we got it uh for black friday and um it was like 10 bucks so we got it and it is amazing it takes like 20 minutes and you like pop this down like a toaster and then it pops up when it's done and it's like perfect like you don't have to do nothing to it so i love that Riley is right here. Hello, Riley. How are you doing today, little puppy? So, today I had a prenatal appointment. and Well, it wasn't like a prenatal, but it was like um, a regular doctor visit, I guess. Tomorrow I'll be 31 weeks pregnant. And Squishy's getting really big. <laughs> Her heartbeat was at um, 100, 148, I think, 150, something around there. Mm. Does anybody else love hot sauce on the rice? It is bomb.com. If you guys haven't tried it yet, you should try it because it is amazing. Like, it literally changed my entire life. <laughs> I'm really excited right now because I haven't had any home-cooked food in a really, really long time. Like, a real, real, real long time. <laughs> I actually decided I'm just going to sit on the couch. <laughs> There's like this dog that's always howling super loud outside. By the way, speaking of outside, wait, before I start that, I am sorry if I always do that. I always jump ahead of my sentences and I always talk about something different off track and it makes me sound very confusing. <laughs> so I'm very, very sorry that I do that. It's just my brain runs a mile a minute. Anyways, I sat down to eat here because I am watching KK and Baby J's old vlogs and yeah but i really want to quickly show you guys outside because it is a beautiful day today so this is outside it is so nice out today hush blinds um it is really pretty out today uh, it's a little chilly not too bad it's like 40 degrees out so yeah i'm just gonna sit here and watch cookie baby j and eat my food Alrighty, so I was uh, okay. So I was watching that, but I actually think that I'm going to um, start folding my daughter's clothes and getting them sorted up and stuff like that because she does have um, baskets of clothes that I washed a little while ago so I kind of want to go through them and sort them out and everything and then get her diapers like put into her drawer and stuff like that I just have some wipes in here so I want to get all of this stuff kind of organized I want to start doing it today because it's a nice day and I have nothing else to do and um yeah <laughs> finished so these are her towels these are things i'm hanging up for her like her clothes and everyday shirts and stuff like that that i have um so far and then i have like just a couple of swaddles here and then these are all of her pants are all sized and then all of her long or quarter sleeves are all sized right here and then all of her short sleeves are sized here. And then she's got hats here. She's got bows in there. She's got washcloths here. And then bibs here. She has got a lot of bibs. <laughs> she's got a little tutu here. Little undies. And then these are all her little socks. And then those are burp cloths. And then these are all of her... 
I want to say pajamas they're all footies so i'm gonna go through these because i'm not sure if i want to hang these or not i'm gonna see how much this all takes up in the drawer first <laughs> like for now so in this first drawer I just put her newborn diapers and then a little um cleansing wipe thing right here I think I'm gonna do something because I have like her hygienic stuff and I don't know where to kind of put it so I might put it in like a basket or something maybe this basket and keep it like somewhere near I'm not sure I'm very new to this guys <laughs> so I'm trying my best I might keep it in this drawer just because um, I could have just moved these over here or something or in the next drawer probably in the next drawer yeah I'll do that these are her washcloths and then these are her burp cloths so I'm thinking maybe I'll do this and I'll maybe I'll put her hygienic stuff like that so I'll put all of her lotions and stuff here so hold on all right she actually doesn't have much right now but um I just got these from my grandma for Christmas but I have some like butt cream and then shampoo and body wash and then I have some wipes um right there and then I'll put a pack of these I've gotten some like sensitive wipes where did they go I was looking for these everywhere but I think Joanne needs to put them all in here okay <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to put a um, pack of wipes right in here, question mark. Don't know if I like that there, but this is for now, only temporary. So, yeah, I think I might move these over there, though, just because these are for head and toes. These are for actually butt wipes. Um, I do have to go get her more wipes and stuff, but yeah. Also, I want to show you guys this cool thing. So I saw a cool way to hang up bibs. So I'm gonna try it out and see how it looks. So I have all of her bandana type of bibs right here. And then I have like her regular bibs all hung up here. I thought that this was such a cute idea. So you can see all of her bibs or all of your kids bibs, you know, whenever you need them and not have them stuffed in a drawer. I think that this is super cute. And then I also have like her snugglies hung up too. Bought her some sandals the other day. Uh, if you haven't watched that vlog, uh, it's so cute. But I'll have it down in the description if you guys wanted to watch it. And then, yeah, so this is just how I'm going to have her bibs hung. I'm going to keep them right here. All of her clothes that I haven't washed, I'm going to just keep back there so I can wash them. All right, and then another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to sort all of her stuff. Um, basically, like newborn, 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9, just all of her hanging stuff. I'm going to, like, sort that by size. So we're going to go do that. sorted all of them and um, I think these are super cute so this is newborn this is um zero to three this is six nine I did like three to six and then six to nine and then so six to nine is here six to three to six is here but I just put six here because this is zero to three so yeah but I had gotten these cute little um dividers I haven't gotten anything for like 12 or 18 months yet but um I got these cute dividers from my subscription box that I got with like a company, but I know that there's some, there's some really cute ones on Amazon as well. If you guys are interested, maybe I will put a link down below in the description for some on Amazon for you guys to check out. All right, that took me way too long to do, but ta-da, it is done. Okay, so here i'm gonna start here since that's like longer okay so for the dresser i just have what i have for books right now up here her diaper bag i put some diapers in there and then some wipes for now and then you open the drawer and then it's just all of her bath stuff here i already showed you that but mitten socks head bows and then hats 
diapers. Then you open the bottom, and then this is all of her newborn stuff. So there's newborn short sleeves, newborn long sleeves, newborn bottoms, and then zero to three months short sleeves, zero to three long sleeves, and then the bottoms. All right, and then last but not least, this is like uh, the three to six months, and then six to nine months, and three to six, six to nine, and pants. And then a couple of swaddles down here, and then these are all of her newborn diapers. I kind of stuffed there. All right, and then down here, this is just stuff we have to put in the car. This is a mirror I gotta put on my thing, and then like a couple of window covers. One for my car, one for Gio's car. Her laundry basket is gonna be right there. Her boppy, her new, her nursery like type of blankets and stuff like that for her crib are gonna be back there. And then I already showed you the organization of um, the closet, but I just added her footy pajamas in here, so that is the only thing that's different with this. And then have all of her wipes up here. I have all of her binkies and little toys and rattles and stuff like that up there. Blankets, towels, and um, a wrap that I have to like put her in. This is gonna be her memory box. So I have like my, um, what are they called? My pee sticks <laughs> and ultrasound video up there. So I'm gonna put all her ultrasound pictures in there as well. And then these are our security cameras, safety things that, you know, we have to put together still. And then this is a, what is it called? Um, a wrap, I guess, or something to put your baby in hold. Her ornament. This is all breast pump stuff. So my breast pump is in here. This is the bottle that I have gotten for free from like a company. And then this is storage bags. And then this is like a swimmy thing for the summer, which we won't need right now. But yay. So I'm very proud of it so far. Obviously, we're not done getting everything for her yet. But yeah, this is um this is her little closet space. Alrighty, and now that I am done with her bedroom, I'm going to grab myself a little healthy snack because I have heartburn. <laughs> Probably, okay, it's not healthy. I'm going to actually just get me a fruit bar, and then I'm going to get to editing a video and finish watching Cake and Baby J because I'm a little exhausted now. Look who I'm on the phone with. Hello, I'm so tired. <laughs> You're like, I want to go home, I want to sleep. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Alrighty, and I am just finishing up a video. While that is uploading, I am going to go take myself a shower because my round ligament pain is really starting to bother me right now. And it really hurts. So, yeah, I'm going to go shower. Hopefully it feels better afterwards though. Hi guys, I am back, recharged, refreshed, and I feel good. So I actually talked to my doctor, or I actually talked to a nurse about that earlier because I did go to an appointment today, um, about if it's okay if you use heating pads or hot water on your back, if that's okay to do for um, round ligament pain. And she said it was fine. I thought it wasn't. And this whole time I've been suffering <laughs> because I just was afraid of hurting my baby by, you know, having heat on me. It was not okay to use like hot tubs and stuff like that because of the temperature of the water. And uh, I actually just really want to talk to you guys. I feel like I haven't had a one-on-one -on -one in a while, but um, I kind of like want to express how I feel a little bit because I don't know if anybody else feels the same way or not. Lately I've been trying to um, get over some some mental battles that I've been having with myself since I've been pregnant. I get, I've been getting really down on myself lately and I feel like it shows and it radiates through my camera to you guys and I'm a very you know I try to be positive my dog is eating <laughs> I try to be positive and I try to be nice and stuff like that it's really hard sometimes um when I'm just in my my icky moods so for this year I've made it like a personal goal of mine to to stop um caring about what people think about me and to take care of myself more. So that personal goal was part of trying to be more positive 
and be more happy with myself. Not looking out on life so negatively. Oh my god, my forehead looks huge. I'm sorry, I'm like talking about being positive, but like I'm like, oh. I've been isolating myself from a lot of people, especially my family, and I feel really bad and um, stuff like that, but I feel like, honestly, now is like the time that I'm pregnant that I should be focusing on my family more. My family uh, by the one I created because I feel like it's important. Another thing I really struggle with is learning how to be myself and I really wanted to work more on that this year and I really wanted to take care of my body more and um, being more confident in things that I'm wearing and stop wearing baggy clothes like I was telling my husband about it the other day like I'm tired of wearing baggy clothes like I wear them all the time like slouchy bigger shirts and bigger sweaters and um, he told me like you know like I don't need to wear that stuff and I don't know and wearing a one-piece bathing suit I need to learn how to be more accepting of my body basically because I have a little girl that's watching me now and she's going to be seeing you know the way that I talk about myself the way that I feel about myself and it's gonna show through to her so I don't want her to grow up you know feeling like she isn't enough when she is way more than enough she picks up like a pile of food and brings it somewhere drops it all out and then she was one by one does anyone else's dog do that I think that is so weird, but like so funny. Like I don't, I don't understand why she, you know, doesn't eat it all at the bowl. She like picks a pile up in her mouth, drops it, and then eats like kibble by kibble in a weird random place. I think that's so odd. I'm sorry if I feel like I'm speaking like very negatively right now. <laughs> um, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to let all my feelings out on the camera, so. If you guys don't want to hear all of my complaining about myself, I guess I'm gonna skip ahead. A really big thing that's been bugging me lately <laughs> is my weight. So I will start looking plumper <laughs> in my vlogs. And um, that's just something I really, really can't help at this point. I've been doing really good at maintaining my weight throughout my pregnancy. But, um... The past two weeks since I got back from Florida, I gained 10 pounds. Now I weigh 200 pounds. It's very hard for me to talk about. Thank you guys for not commenting on my videos and telling me that I look fat and, you know, I'm getting bigger and stuff like that because I know that I am and it, and it does bother me, but I can't do anything about it. Um, I know that this is only temporary and that, um, you know, I can start taking care of myself again after I have my baby. It's been getting really hard with um, trying to go shopping and stuff like that. And this is like a stupid thing to talk about, but also my hands are getting really, really dry and it's disgusting. I need to go get lotion one second. So after I threw out all of my stuff, I um, haven't shopped since then. And I'm finally getting to that stage where I am officially growing out of my clothes. My belly hangs out the bottom of everything that I wear. And I think that because, you know, I've been pregnant for seven months now. I feel like I'm ready. And then spring is coming around the corner. So I'm like, oh, I'm so ready to like, you know, I want to buy a bathing suit. I want to buy, you know, a new romper. Like, I want to look cute. I want to go out. I want to do this. I want to do that to myself. And I just can't. So basically, I just can't fit any of my clothes anymore. Um, I can't go shopping because I won't look good in anything and I won't be able to fit anything. So it gets me down. My confidence is coming down. I'm gaining weight. So when I'm gaining weight, um, now that I'm 200 pounds, my face is starting to get rounder. <sighs> and it gets really hard to get in front of the camera sometimes. So thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to me if you have made it this far into my video. Thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed seeing me put together my daughter's closet and her little section. I'm so excited for her and I'm so happy 
that I have the privilege of being able to do what I can for her and um, I'm so excited to just have you guys meet her and I am almost to 200 subscribers so thank you guys all so much for your support I'm so happy it makes me want to cry and it makes me want to give you besitos Mwah. but um, if you guys aren't a part of my family make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below and then make sure you guys turn my notifications on so you get notifications for whenever I post and if not you guys can always see on my Instagram Facebook and snapchat <laughs> and those will be all down in the description as well if you guys wanted to check out any of my social media accounts yes just please be very kind i'm very sensitive right now so thank you uh be nice be kind to each other love one another and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys darling you